many women and men would like to leave their husbands for yeah. John Hamm. However, there's one exception. Yeah. That one person in the world the has no person. love. The only person the only in the world person. that has no love for John Hamm. Yeah. You. Tell, I have what, the nerve what, to not be in love with John Hamm. What happened? I just think he's like douchey. Like, I've known Hammy <laughs> since he was a doctor on some Lifetime show. And I just feel like he's very good as Don Draper because he's playing himself. But the real <laughs> reason I turned on him, he's like always just kind of like asshole. Like, you know how like a lot of times hot guys try to be funny and they don't quite know how, so they just say something really mean? And so I was at, this is like a very name droppy story, so get ready. So I was, I was privileged enough to be at a, about a 10 person dinner, and there's a woman named Sue Mangers, who was the first female mm -hmm. power agent ever. And I was in her mafia. And the way I got in was after I won my first Emmy, and I, I held it up and I went, suck it, Jesus, this award is my God now. I got like, in so much trouble, and people took out full page ads against me. And then Sue Mangers called, and she said, you've earned a seat at the table. So I go to Sue Mangers' house, and I'm fucking in between Jack Nicholson and John Hamm. And Whitey Bulger had just been captured, and he played him in, he played him in The Departed. And you don't get to talk to Jack every day. It's kind of special. So Hammy's wasted, and he's in my ear going, you're so old. Look at how old you are. And I'm, like, having a conversation with the one and only Jack Nicholson. And I just, I feel John Hamm personally sort of infringed upon my Jack Nicholson moment. And I actually turned to him, and I said, Hammy, zip it. You're all classed, and you know Jack. And I just turned back to Nicholson, like, then what happened, Mr. Nicholson? I mean, it was incredible. Like, I got to hear Nicholson talk about, like, you know, what he thought about the real Whitey Bulger. And then he started, he was fascinated with Rupert Murdoch. Like, he could, it's, it was like he could have played him in a movie. So he starts doing this crazy impression of Rupert Murdoch. The last thing I need is Draper in my ear. So, uh, yes, it was an unusual experience. But he's very talented. I get it.